Hey guys, Vera Sweeney here, and we're doing another What's in the Box. I got a ton of mail, and um, we're just going to try to get through it. So some of these are open, and some of these are not. So um, it's going to get easier, and then it's going to get harder as we uh, go through. So first we have Kiehl's um, Super Multi-Corrective Cream Sunscreen. We are jumping right into the summer. You should use sunscreen all year long, not just the summer. That is a actual false beauty uh, myth. Everyone thinks sunscreen is just for the summer, but really it's all, all year long. But um, this is Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Uh, has beech tree extract, jasmine flower extract, all that good stuff in here. And it actually, let me see what else I could tell you about this. Reduces um, pore visibility and it hydrates. So it's sort of it's sort of like an all-in-one. I can't wait to check this out. And then we have um, Youth Dose Eye Cream. Now, I've been talking a lot about eye cream if you are on my channel because I am very nervous about this region. I'm starting, you know, you get all of this stuff going on as you get a little bit older. So I'm all up for the eye cream. This is a pro-retinol red grape seed extract with vitamin C. It brightens, it hydrates. Um, it says youth on it, people. If it says youth, I'm going to buy it. So um, use every morning and every evening. So this is a twice daily application from Kiehl's. Can't wait to check this one out as well. Um, it's been, it began in New York in 1851, uh, Kiehl's, if you didn't know that. I think that's kind of interesting. Super cool. So thank you for that. Okay, so next up we have, I thought this was fun. I can't really show you because it has my address on it. But this came to me with like stickers all over it here. This is how the um, envelope came to me. So let's go through some of this. So right away it has a really cute um, luggage tag, which I will absolutely use. And this is, let's see, um, Lottie Glitter Switch. So how to use, apply um, an even coat to lips. Let dry for one minute, press lips together, and then reveal the glitter magic. So let's try one because I have to. Uh, it has glitter. It says that there's glitter involved, so I'm in. I'm game. Uh, okay, let's get one open. Now I need to have, I need like a full equipment. Here we go. Okay. I'll show you the four colors while we're letting this dry. I hate going backwards, you know that. Okay. I'm going to leave it alone. Apply on an even coat. Leave for one minute allowed to dry. So this one is called Dream On. Dream On. Oh, it's like it's feeling matte. It's becoming matte. Uh, this one is Killing It. First of all, I love these names. Dream On, Killing It. High Roller. And this is my favorite color. I already know before I've even tried it on. Wanted. So we have really uh, four pretty amazing colors right here. This is all Lottie. Read me first how to use, but I already have this paper here, so I know, I know how to use it. Um, and then glitter should be coming around in about one minute. Um, it's as simple as press, pout, and pop. Ah, it's starting to come. You see that? There was no glitter there before. And now it's starting to come. So that's super fun. Okay, so that's Lottie. If you want more information about Lottie, it's Lottie London Glitter Switch. Okay, let's move on. And now I have a little lipstick because I was basically um, about to take a shower. And then I was like, oh, I'll do a video before I take a shower which it should have been the opposite. I should have gotten ready before I did this, but it's all right. You guys see me for who I am. All right, here we go. This is when things start getting complicated because I didn't prep any of the boxes. Next up, Logitech. Um, Logitech Harmony Elite Remote. I think this is for my husband. 
the most powerful and intuitive harmony remote for home entertainment and home control so it's an all-inclusive universal remote there's two of them it looks like good night welcome home movie time play games dinner party mood music watch tv good morning uh lots of different things that you can do here logitech then this is from black and decker so black and decker had an event in new york city um they had invited me to attend and i wanted to go but i couldn't and it looks like they ended up sending me something anyway even though i couldn't go so let's see what this is oh lots of fun stuff let's see okay so black and decker let's see sorry we missed you um enjoy this gift from bd pop up so bd pop up is the hashtag so let's check out all the stuff that we have here we have a black and decker light drive pivot screwdriver with light so it's a screwdriver with a light so when you're trying to get into those hard to reach places you have light to help you get there and make it easier for you to do your um your fixings what's this BD pop up. Let's see what's inside. This is fun. How do I open this? Wait. I should this this should this is like one of those um hold on, I'm gonna get this. I'm struggling. William. Um, wait a second. I know there's something in here. I don't know how to open this. Maybe this isn't supposed to be open, although I hear that there's something in here. There is something in here. Oh, wait, am I supposed to unscrew this? Are they? No, that's not true. Thanks for attending. Go ahead and pop open this box. Oh my gosh, I am supposed to unscrew this. Using your new black and decker light driver electric screwdriver and enjoy the fun su surprise inside they like actually want me to unscrew with the screwdriver i feel like i'm in escape the room am i gonna do this am i opening this up so i could try to do this this is intense i do want to know what's in the box though okay we're doing this do I need like a, I'm like a, this is like, this became a handyman video. So I'm opening up my Black & Decker screwdriver screw tool. Hold on now. <gasps> okay. Oh my gosh. This is the part that you're not supposed to see. Me not being able to open boxes. Okay, here's my handy dandy tool. I think it needs a battery. Does it? Oh, we're like ready to roll right now. Bill, I'm doing stuff. You're missing it. You're missing, you're missing what's happening here. Okay, that did not work. Okay, hold on. Okay, this is, oh, okay, it comes with heads. I am, if I do this, Black and Decker wins because I don't know how to open my front door. So if I'm capable of doing this, like this tool is amazing. So let's just see. First of all, uh, okay, literally, first of all, I'm amazing. I'm unscrewing things. You're missing stuff, William. That's all I have to say. You're missing stuff because I... I'm going to get a show on HGTV and you're like literally just sitting in the dining room and you're, you're missing stuff. There's stuff happening in here. Does everybody see that I'm capable of doing stuff? I don't even know what's happening. Bill, I'm building, I'm building forts and structures in my office. Wow. He doesn't care. He doesn't care what's happening. I just used a tool. I just used this. He's not even looking at me. Okay. 
So I just did that and I'm really proud of myself. Opening it up. I want there to be another thing to do. Like I want this to be a key to open up a box in the backyard and then there's like another craft and then I have to put together a birdhouse. Like I want things, this is, I don't want this to end. I'm like totally manic right now. I'm super excited. Okay, so this, I don't, I'm really upset that I don't have to build like a backyard barn. Like I, I want to go build a barn right now. This, this has changed my whole entire life. Okay. So I have seed barn, uh, seed bombs, culinary herbs, basil, dill, cilantro, chives, and parsley. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. So basically I'm going to make my little, my little herb garden. So I used to have, um, if you can go back like like two or three years of my videos, I used to have a square foot garden. I was really happy. We had um, a raised wood um, square foot garden. We, we, we had every vegetable under the sun. We loved it. And then unfortunately our wood rotted and then we had to get rid of the whole thing. And it was always our intention to build it again and we never have gotten around to building our square foot garden again and actually I'm just going to tell you the whole thing because this is a video and I can go on and on the daughter of the person who created square foot garden gardening emailed me a month ago they were having an exhibit at the Vanderbilt which is a um out in Long Island and she invited me to attend the square foot gardening seminar at the Vanderbilt because she had found my posts that I wrote about square foot gardening and she said, you know, are you still square foot gardening? We would love for you to come. We saw that you had such a love for square foot gardening. Um, they added my post to their, their blog and we had this whole thing back and forth and it was so nice, but I don't have it anymore. So um, maybe, maybe now that I have, I have found my love for tools, maybe we'll go back and try to create that again. It was a lot of fun. We, we created this like chicken wire, um, safety net because we have rabbits and everything uh, in the back and we wanted to protect the vegetables. It was really, it was a wonderful uh, thing that we did and the kids loved it and we loved it and we ate the vegetables and it was super fun and we built everything from scratch. It was like literally with planks, we went to Home Depot and we're like, we didn't know what we were doing. We're, we're city people. We're both from Queens. We were like, I don't know, can we get like some wood and some, I don't know, like some nails. Like we didn't know what we were doing, but, but it worked. So um, maybe we'll go back and do that again this summer and uh, get ready for some stuff that we can plant in the fall because we sort of missed the whole, the whole spring thing. But um, I love this. I love everything that they just sent. So that was super cute, really cute. I'm sad that I missed the Black & Decker event, but I'm glad that they sent that tool along. Okay, moving on. I digress, right? I'm a talker. I can't help it. Um, okay, so next up we have a box that is crazy. Okay, here we go. Let's see. I promise next time I'm going to have these all open. I say it every time and then I forget. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh. I mean, people close stuff up like they are giving. Oh my gosh. Come on. Almost have it. Okay, here we go. Woo! Sweating. I broke a sweat. Okay, rock retinol to look great for your age. And then it was crossed out just to look great. Not your age, just to look great. So let's see what we have here. Oh, we have an amazing clutch. I am so excited. Perfect. What does it say on it? Think twice. I'm obsessed. Pom poms and summer, um, summer ready bag. All about it. I'm so happy about this because I bought this amazing clutch at Lord and Taylor. Amazing. I could actually show it to you because I still haven't returned it yet, but I am going to return it because it's, it was a lot of money. And I loved it. I fell in love with it. And then I was like, I have to return it. I have to be good. We're trying to be better with our money. Um, you know, we're just trying to make better decisions. And hello 
the universe heard me and 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 rock came to the rescue this is a great clutch black goes with everything i could wear this with a white bat a white dress i could wear this with a bold you know multi-colorful tunic it doesn't matter this literally goes with everything so amazing thank you so much now let's go for what we're looking at first of all i love the name of this you look great uh for your age no you look great for anything and that's exactly what my, our whole story is and as you know i turned 40 and i'm in a whole new demographic for beauty oh wait a minute hey love i don't think you look great for your age i think you look freaking excellent what to learn more about the for your age campaign go to rockskincare.com is that naomi campbell Hold on a second. It's Fandy Newton. We were just talking about her yesterday. Bill, he is not into me at all today. He's ignoring me entirely. Fandy Newton. Is she saying my name? To learn more about the clearing. Hey, love. I don't think you look great for your age. I think she's saying, hey, love. So, hey, love, I think I don't think you look great for your age. I think you look freaking amazing. Hey, Annie. Oh, you're paying attention to me now. Wow. Um, it says, Thandy Newton, I'm proud to participate in the mission of Rock and the For Your Age campa campaign as this brand understands and celebrates every way a person wants to feel and how they want to look. We were just talking about Thandy Newton yesterday. She is on Westworld. She has one of the biggest... Um, storylines this season last season she had a big storyline as well but this season she's almost hand in hand with Dolores I don't know if you guys watch Westworld and we were just talking about her about how she used to be in movies and how she used to um we used to see a lot more about her of her and she, she took a little bit of time off and now she is back in it back in it as such a main lead and we're so happy for it because I love her I love Fandy Newton we were just talking about her last night this is so funny okay so for your age Fandy Andy Newton, if you want more information, you can look at hashtag for your age or rocks uh, skincare.com slash for dash your dash age. Awesome. And uh, I will definitely look into that. I don't know much about um, okay, so backhanded compliments like you look great for your age. Uh, can be a buzzkill. And yeah, that's absolutely the truth. So the enclosed butter, buzzer will come in clutch the next time you hear someone using for your age as a compliment. That is not a compliment. We should just say you look great, period. Not for three kids, for 40, for anything. You just look great. And that's beautiful and right in line with um, everything that I believe in. So I think that's beautiful. I love that. 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 Great, great, great. Okay, so next. Let's see. This one's going to be easier to open. I just have to find the scissor. Where did I put the scissor? Oh, gosh. I lost the scissor. Here we go. The scissor is probably right in front of me, but... Oh, this is from J. Jell. Okay, great. So I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to try these. Um, I forgot what I asked for. I asked them to send me this. The shirt is a little, it keeps getting lower and lower. Okay, so let's see. Are these pants? I think these are, oh, it was a skirt. So I thought this was a really great summer skirt. Free-flowing, simple, casual Dress it up, dress it down, depending on what you put on top. I was thinking just like a really um, neutral tank top, white or black or, or even beige. Um, if you want to wear like a, a cardigan or a blazer, that's how you could sort of dress it up. Or if you're just going to the, even if you're going to the beach and you want to throw this on as you're sort of heading to the boardwalk, this is a very multifunctional functional, um, skirt. You can I could think of 10 different places that you can wear it to over the summer and I just love the color as well again it's a day or a night color if you're going out to eat with your um with your with your husband or your girlfriends with a you could pair this with um a great heel and a great clutch like I said this is 
this is something that you can pop in with anything. And um, $89, but I'll tell you something, J. Jill constantly has sales, so I wouldn't, um, you know, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't worry about that price. If that price seems too high for you, I constantly go to Jay's Jill and there's 40% off. There's one day sales. You can always find something um, that's priced right for you. And then I thought this Seaside Clutch was another one that was really great. I like natural fabrics for the summer. Um, as does everyone else, I'm not special. Like everyone loves natural fabrics. Again, um, this is something that's very, um, it's cloth and it's, it's breathable. Like I think in the summer, no, nobody wants to be w walking around with that pleather bag, that leather bag, that like heavy, sweaty sort of material that if it, it's on your body and it's 95 degrees and you have it up against your side, you start to sweat. Like that's the last thing that we want to do. We're already hot. Um, so this type of material doesn't do that um, and offers a much more lighter, um, you know, better feel. And I just love the vibe of this. This is very, again, I like the neutral. You're going to, this is who I am. I'm very neutral. I very rarely will I opt for a hot pink or something like that. Unless I'm going to a party, then maybe I will. But on, a, on your everyday sort of thing, I'm much more up the neutral alley. And so this is something that's really great. Um, I liked the design because it, it spoke like the beach to me. So if I'm just heading to the beach or if I'm just going to, for again for a casual dinner or something along those lines or maybe I'm going to a concert like we go to the Jones Beach concert or something and I just want to take a little clutch with me with my, you know, my phone and a, and a credit card. This is a great option. It's just it's just really simple and it's really easy and that's exactly how I how I look at the summer. I look at the summer exactly under those terms. So J. Jill for more information on that. One more to go. And this is over, folks. Let's see. Um, drawn together, sometimes you don't need words to find common ground. Drawn together. Okay, let's take a look. This is going to make me sad. I already know. First of all, it has ramen in it. So um, I'm, all, I'm all over this book immediately. This is my favorite meal on the planet. Uh, okay, so what's new, Grandpa? I'm already sad. It's going to be beautiful. I already know. Uh, super colorful, very artistic, family-centric. Really eye-capturing. I love um, I love this culture. It's it's actually one of the places that I that says on my to do list, my next to visit, I would say. And uh, I don't I will definitely I don't I don't want to read the whole thing right now because I want to I like to read these stories first with uh, I like to be present and first when I see it with my children for the very first time. Okay, so uh, he's a writer, but his grandfather is a man of very few words. First generation Vietnamese American. National Early Childhood Policy, author of Let Me Finish. So this is something that you can read to your children drawn together. Again, it's a family, it's a family book. And um, I'm always up for those. We are definitely always in the market for something new to read as a family. So that's it. Those are my mailings. I have a FabFitFun um, box, but... I'm working with them, so that has to be a, um, something entirely on its own, so I can't pop that in here, but I have one that's, that's another video for another time. Oh, and I have one more wish. Let's see what this is. I don't know how many of these I've ordered. I must have ordered like 12 of these, and I don't know what this is. This is drawn. This is shown very differently. What is this? What is this? Why did I buy this? What is this? What is this? Why why did I buy this? Like I have no I I've gotten two or three of these and I don't know what this is. Why would I purchase this? It is a plastic bubble sheet. I don't understand. It's not a pot. I mean, is it to put pots on? The, is it to put pots down? I mean, I'm just very confused by this purchase. I literally have no idea what it is. If you know what this is, tell me because I'm just utterly clueless as to what this is. And when you buy stuff from Wish, there's just no information. I don't know what this is. I have like three of them. So I keep I keep piling them up. I'm like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe one of them will come with some words and let me know what I purchased when I was 
going crazy looking for things to talk about. Um, that's it. All my mail for the last few days over Memorial Weekend. I did get quite a few stuff, but um, that's it. Until next time, bye.